Hi, this is the first in our occasional series of Blue Fruit Thought Smoothies on a range of subjects such as Agile Development, Embedded Software and the Internet of Things. We thought we'd start with Cumulative Flow. Cumulative Flow is an Agile management practice that we and our customers find really useful. It's the Agile equivalent of a Gantt chart. It allows you to monitor progress and predict that all-important completion date on your project. It's represented by a graph with time across the bottom and points up the side. Points are a measure of how much effort is required to complete the project, so the blue line across the top shows the scope of work required. By representing it against time in this way, it allows us to capture when the scope increases and we can add points to our scope as the project unfolds. As you go along, it's even possible to extrapolate that line and calculate the rate of increase of the scope. At the start of the project, we have an expected velocity. This is the rate at which we expect to work through the points. This will be based on the number of engineers that are working on the project, how experienced they are, the nature of the work that they're doing, the quality of the tools, quality of documentation and so on. All these things feed into the expected velocity. But what you can't beat is just getting started and seeing what your actual velocity is. And very quickly, within a few weeks of starting a project, you get an actual velocity which you can plot on the graph. You can then use your actual velocity to predict when you expect to complete. Now you can build a range of best and worst case scenarios by looking at the range of velocities you've worked at to date. Your team might also have ideas as to how to improve velocity and you can include that in your best estimate but you do need to be realistic. By extrapolating those forward, you can give yourself a date range for when you expect to complete the scope of work. And we found this to be the most accurate way of predicting a completion date. It's a really flexible tool because you may not be working with a fixed scope of work, but may instead have a specific deadline to work to. And you can also use this tool to look at a fixed deadline to see what features you may get in by that deadline. You can even use a mix of the two so you may have a fixed scope that you need to deliver by the end of the project, but you might have intermediate deadlines such as shows that you need to take something along to, and it allows you to plan for those. What's so powerful about this approach is that along with monitoring actual progress, you're also monitoring the rate of change. So, with a traditional Gantt chart, you may keep sliding the Gantt chart to the right as things slip, but you may not be tracking the way in which things are going slower than expected. Whereas cumulative flow is measuring the rate of error as well as the rate of progress. Cumulative flow is about truth. So when engineers sit down with managers, they're looking at what is actually happening on the project. They're continually presented with trade-off options between scope and timescales and have the most realistic possible estimated completion dates. For more from our series of our Blue Fruit Thought Smoothies, just keep watching this channel.